Wow, it's windy. Last shrimp. Let's see what happens. Oh, I got one. Last shrimp. Oh my gosh. Nice. Okay. Wow. What's going on guys? Welcome back or to the channel and thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. In this video, I am going to show you guys my favorite way of rigging live shrimp. No, we are not going to be doing it on the boat. You guys will see videos in the future of myself fishing on the boat as well as with friends, but we're going to be fishing off the kayaks in today's video because of the low negative tides have been making it super duper easy to find fish in the winter time, especially with live shrimp and my favorite way to rig them. But without too much talking guys, do me a favor, check out Mangear's website. I'll leave it down in the description and I'll see you guys out on the water. All right guys, so we're using a yellowtail mustad hook. This is my favorite way to rig shrimp and I'm just gonna show you guys how to use this today. It's a 132 ounce and we're just gonna drift it with this outgoing tide. I'm trying to be quiet, but there's some other anglers here. So, but let's drift it out, see what we can do. I wish I could have tripled us up, but... Oh, Brett's got... Is that a black drum or red, Brett? That's a red. Well, the fish are here for these guys. Oh, there we go. That's better. I feel like that's a black drum. I feel like it is. I could be wrong. Maybe? I think? It feels really weird. Yep. Yeah, a little black drum. They just fight so much different. You can tell when they hit it. They, they dig and kind of do the head shake at the same time. Just a little guy. I got my first black drum. They've already got a red and a black drum each, but it's a cute little guy. He's drumming. There he goes. So all we're doing with these yellowtail jigs, this is a mustad yellowtail jig, if I didn't already say that. It's a 132 ounce. We just take it and we go right through the tail of the shrimp, just like that. It makes the most natural presentation possible. They can still swim. It can still look natural, but holds them on the bottom a little bit better. I don't like using too heavy of a weight because fish can usually tell. So just that 132 ounce is perfect. Now we're just casting it right out in this deeper area right here, letting it sink, letting it drift. This dude, the uh, red's about to eat yours. Was that yours? Yeah. I literally just watched him. I got one. Hold on. There we go. What is that? Is that a, oh, it's a baby sheep's head. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Well, species number two for me, little sheep's head. These hooks are very good. I really like how sturdy they are. I've only bent out these like a couple times and it was due to rocks. So if you're trying to hook any fish, it should be fine. But rocks, I mean, obviously any hook's gonna bend out when you put a lot of pressure on a rock. But 132 ounce, like I said, 30 pound leader to 15 pound braid on the 3000. And then to that is a seven foot medium light rod. So that's actually perfect for what we're doing. It's a little light, which gives a little bend. Super sensitive, but let's get another shrimp on there. You know what's surprising? What? We haven't landed this snapper yet. <laughs> okay. Wow. That thing hit hard. I mean, I don't know if it's that much bigger, but it's fighting like it's bigger. People are going to say I had YouTube drag on. My drag was a little loose, but still. No, that's still the biggest. I think that's the biggest of the day. Or my biggest, at least. Yeah, that's a better one. We're starting to find better ones. There we go. Probably just a little, like, two-pounder, but they fight, man. These things are hook right in the corner in the gummy come on there we go it's definitely a better one he's drumming right there so the little guys are so fun to catch there he goes that was on that tail of shrimp it's crazy how just these little chunks are working you can use a lot like whole ones but with how much shrimp we have and how many fish we need to catch we kind of decided to break them in half. I feel like one of the biggest things with fishing live shrimp, for me at least, is always keeping the bail open. It gives the fish some room to run if they do grab it. You can also feel the bites a lot better. Just letting the braid rest on your index finger, you can really feel all the little ticks and bites. I'm not saying you can't leave the bail closed, but that's just how I do it. I feel like it definitely helps. Oh, something. Look at him trying to eat it. Look at him trying to eat it. I think he got it. That's a big shrimp. How did he? Oh yeah, there he is. 
I, I wanted to let him eat it a little bit longer because I was a huge shrimp. I figured it couldn't have been. Yep. Oh, it's it's a better black drum. I think that's that might be the biggest one. No, that's probably about the same size as the other one I got. Ah, I don't know. Actually, that might be a little bit bigger. You throw on a bigger shrimp and that's what you get right there. Yeah, that's bigger. Come here. Man, these things are strong. Come here. Come here. That's a that's a good one right there. Yeah, you know what? That's probably these things are heavy. That thing's probably around five pounds. The goal is to get one around ten. That's when they really start to throw down. That's still a good fish. There we go. Another victim. That was on the huge shrimp. Might try that again. Sweet. That's bottom. That just broke my neck. It's the last hook too. That's what I get for casting in that spot over there. There we go. This is day two of this video probably. We're with Sarah this morning. She's got herself a nice little black drum over there. Nice. Oh. Oh. What's it gonna be? It hit like a red. It's either a red or a black drum. Oh yeah, that's a red. That's a good size red, Sarah. Look at that. That's a pretty red. Look at the colors. Just threw that live shrimp right in the hole, right in the deeper spot. Look at look at the colors on that. Little tap taps. You just gotta gotta calm the excitement. Just know the little tap taps are leading up to that bigger, better bite. Oh, something just crushed it. There you go. Mm, I think, oh my gosh, is that a trout or a snow? Did you see that? You got one too? Oh, they're trout. Oh, the trout are in here. Oh my gosh. Nice. These, look at mine. Yeah, yours is, yours is good too. But mine's like, look how fat that thing is. No kidding. They hit hard. I thought it was a yeah. Wet your hands. That, that is a look how fat. Look at that thing. You know another thing about these hooks, they do not like to pop out. Oh yeah, yeah. I almost need some too. Oh, I got it. Yeah, he's yeah he's ready to go. I don't want to keep him out of the water any longer. That thing was in there really well. He swam off good though. So we got three trout so far, and a black drum, and a redfish. And your your decent slot redfish, probably around slot. Look at the size of this shrimp. See if this one gets bigger bite. Hopefully, I'm throwing a big one. You're throwing a tiny one. See what happens. Oh, something's. Come on, 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 come on. There we go. Oh, it's tiny. I think I hooked, I think I know what I hooked. Yep, yep, there they are. That's exactly what we got. This is exactly why I was using gulp shrimp in that one video. Because the snapper just gets so horrible sometimes. I switch it up a little bit, cast like in that deep, that part of the deep spot or try like right here maybe, or just like switch it up. Because sometimes the snapper just gets so congregated if you keep casting in the same spot that it gets frustrating, you know? Oh, Sarah, you're just on them. Oh my gosh, look at, you've got like three fish in the time that I've lost two snapper. Another, look at that, that's crazy. <laughs> the reds are fired up. This is definitely my favorite way to rig live shrimp, without a doubt. What we're, do oh, come on. Come on. What did I just hook? What did I just hook? What did I just, oh, oh my goodness. See these, these and the little snapper are what take our bait 24 seven. So gulp shrimp would definitely avoid that, but this video is all about my favorite way to rig live shrimp. So we're just gonna keep using shrimp. Get them, 
get it. Oh, I saw that. That looked, uh oh, something just picked mine up. There you go. What? Yep. What? I don't know. We're about to find out. I think it's a, oh, it's a little red. It's a little rat red. We'll take it. We'll take it. That was on just a tail of shrimp. That's what I was saying. Like, if you don't, oh, oh, I saw that. That looked like a good fish. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. There we go. That's my first, I think that's my first red of today. Look at that tail. Look at the there he goes. The they're so, they're so awesome. You we love sure. reds. Oh no, that was a good fish. <laughs> that was, she showed you how, uh, how the big snook do it. Oh, what? He was running towards it. Oh, I think that's a lady. The way this feels, you got one? Actually, no, mine's not a ladyfish. Mine would have jumped if it was a ladyfish. Another red? Oh my gosh. What do you got? What do you got, Sarah? We won't know until it comes up. Oh, two reds. Look at these guys. We've doubled up. Could you imagine if we doubled up for every part of our slam? That's, oh. Could we double up on snook for a, it, that'd be crazy. These hooks are so great. They just stay, like I can't even get the hook out. It's hooked in the lip, but. Thanks. Sometimes you just need pliers. Like it, they're, the hook is just great. There we go. Okay, got it. Another little red on the mustad yellowtail jig. Thank you, Sarah, for the pliers. Try way out there. See if anything's sitting on the other side of the hole. I'm surprised you still have bait. Where did you? Uh, I went over here, but you can cross me. I'll. I'm way out there. You can always. Are you kidding? Yep, so there was fish sitting out there. There was fish sitting out there. I think it feels like a, honestly, it feels like a sheep's head. I don't know though. What is that? Oh my goodness, look at how adorable. He, he like inhaled that thing. I don't know if, oh, he was so close. Buddy, you were so close to being gut hooked. That thing was way down there. Look how tiny he is. Look at, that's adorable. It's like, okay, goodbye. All right, guys, so we got the shrimp with the yellowtail jig. We got out of the kayaks. We're gonna fish on this little sandy spot here where it drops off. You can see it's really light colored here and then it's just complete darkness down there. So we're gonna fish this hole like we've been doing, but out of the kayaks. We did pretty well, I would say. Oh, I think we killed them today. There we go, that's a trout. So yeah, if there's this many trout, I think it's, actually, I don't know. I don't think this is a trout. The way it's fighting, I don't think it is. It's running sideways and down. I'm gonna say it's a little red. Oh, it's a sheepy. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe we're not throwing swim baits yet. <laughs> That's a decent sheepy right there. Oh yeah. Sarah's like, mmm, dinner. <laughs> if he was gut hooked, I would say let's throw him in, but I don't feel like cleaning fish today. It's a beautiful sheep's head though. Whoa, this is Colors. spinning, spinning spiky ball right here. Okay, okay, there we go. Mind if I use your pliers real quick? Thanks. You could have been dinner, buddy, but we're nice enough to let you go. Okay, he's like, yeah, goodbye. I'll use this dead one actually. Try to catch something on the dead shrimp. It's a little mushy. Wow, it's windy. Last shrimp, let's see what happens. I'm gonna face away from the wind. Oh, I heard that. Oh, I got one. Last shrimp. Oh my gosh, that feels like a, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna loosen up a little bit. It's like in the rocks. It feels like a big sheep's head. Or what is that? Oh, it's a red. I feel like I always catch a red on the last shrimp. I don't know, it's weird. Perfect hook set with that yellowtail jig right there. Pop that out. All right, let's let him go.
Thanks for eating the shrimp, buddy. That was a dead shrimp. That was like an old crusty shrimp that was sitting in the kayak. Well, that was a good time. We didn't find any snook, but still a good time. That's okay, though. We caught a lot of fish. We did catch a lot of fish. Yes, we did. Remember when Brent almost died? <laughs> the shark. It's a little bit of wind today, so I apologize if there's any any sort of wind noise because it's just it's been blowing like crazy oh my god brent just almost died it's been blowing like crazy <laughs> you almost died thank you guys for watching today's video do me a favor and hit the subscribe button like and comment on this video if you guys did enjoy the video i'll be putting out more videos like this in the future i'm going to try to be more educational as well as just more informational with the videos because it seems like you guys really enjoy them so without too much talking guys i'll see you in the next video peace